Okay, welcome to Pharmacology Drug Names Decoded, Part 7, or Chapter 7. We're going to go over the endocrine system in just 11 slides for this uh, section. We're going to go over diabetes, uh, hypothyroidism, and hyperthyroidism. Diabetes has two kinds, really. There's diabetes mellitus, M-E-L-L-I-T-U-S, which in Latin means honey, so the urine was sweet and that's how that got that name and diabetes just means flowing through. Diabetes insipidus means that the urine had no taste and why would we be tasting urine? Well back in uh, the ancient uh, world there were no glucose monitors and things like that and the physicians would taste the urine and if it was sweet and sugary then they would know that the patient might have diabetes. Hypo again means too low, so it's low thyroid hormone, and hyper means uh, too much thyroid hormone. The first drug, the antidiabetic, rosiglitazone, and that glitazone is a suffix that lets us know it's a certain class of diabetic medicine. Uh, this is Avandia, A V A N D I A, and that's rosiglitazone. It's recently been under some litigation, and you can look that uh, up online. The next is gliburide, which is diabeta, so squish diabetes together uh, with beta cells. Uh, beta cells in the pancreas are important in insulin control, and that's uh, gliburide. The next drug is glucagon. This is glucagen, G-L-U-C-A, and then capital G-E-N, and that's G-L-U-C-A, capital G-E-N. Glucagen is the brand name for glucagon. The next one is metformin, uh, which is glucophage. And we keep seeing this gluco for glucose or sugar. And that is G-L-U-C-O-P-H-A-G-E. Glucophage is metformin. Then we have glipizide, G-L-I-P-I-Z-I-D-E and that's glucotrol, so controlling your glucose, G-L-U-C-O-T-R-O-L, that's glipizide. And all of those drugs, except for glucogen, are uh, drugs that you would take by mouth. Uh, the next group are actually the insulins, and uh, these include uh, four different classes I've put in here. In how quickly uh, they work. Humalog, it's an Eli Lilly product, um, is insulin Lyspro, which is the fastest acting of the insulins. Then we have slower acting regular insulin, or Humulin R, and Humulin is human insulin. We used to use animal insulin before until we uh, could use um, various techniques in uh, recombinant technology uh, to get something that actually matches our insulin perfectly. Then the intermediate duration is NPH insulin, which is humulin N. Then we have the long duration insulin, which is insulin glargine, and that's Lantus. So humalog, humulin R, humulin N, and Lantus round out the four different speeds, if you would, of insulin. I only have one drug each for hypo and hyperthyroidism. Levothyroxine is for hypothyroidism. If you have too little thyroid hormone, we're simply going to add more, and levothyroxine does this. The brand name is Synthroid, Synthetic Thyroid, S-Y-N-T-H-R-O-I-D, and that's levothyroxine. I've also heard it levothyroxine. Uh, either way is fine. Okay, and the last drug here is propylthiouracil, and this is a great um, ending to all of these because it is three organic chemistry terms put together. Propyl meaning three carbons. Thio means that we have some kind of sulfur moiety in the compound. And then uracil, which is one of the four nucleobases in the nucleic acid RNA. The others are a, G, and C. But propylthiouracil is something for hyperthyroidism, and uh, the brand name is PTU, 
I just put the acronym for propyl, the first letter, P, the first letter of thio, T, and then the first letter of uracil, U. So PTU is propyl thiouracil.